10 plagues. Uh, it feels a bit too easy, I guess, and too on point to compare our current experience to these 10 plagues. Uh, it feels too easy to say that we're experiencing our 11th plague called COVID-19 because the truth is we didn't experience the plagues in Egypt. We just watched as everyone else did. We had light in our homes when the Egyptians sat in darkness. Our firstborns woke up in the morning while the Egyptians did not. But this plague that we're dealing with doesn't choose Egyptians' homes while passing over Jewish homes. One of the most shocking pieces of news to me in the last couple of weeks was to read how world leaders who seem to be completely opposed to our way of life here in the free America, how when they test positive for coronavirus, suddenly they and I have the same vulnerability. And that brings us all a little bit closer as humans. And yet still, we're all experiencing this in very different ways. Some much more devastated than others. Some of us watching from our light-filled living rooms while so many others are in darkness. That's what this practice of pulling wine out of our cups has meant to me over the years. When we dip our finger into our wine cup and remove a drop for each plague, we're removing some of our joy and some of our own sweetness and bounty, lest we forget how painful this is for other human beings, even for Egyptians. A lot of people just pull out 10, uh, others 13, some even 16, which is a medieval custom that adds together the 10 plagues to the three mentioned in the prophet Joel, being blood, fire, and smoke, plus the three words of the abbreviation from Rabbi Yehuda, Ditzach, Adash, Ve'achav, uh, which help us remember what the 10 plagues were. I always try to make some kind of design out of the wine droplets like a smiley face on my plate. And then at my table, we go around and share the designs that we all made. But what happens too often is that they merge together into one large blob and I can't see how many drops I've actually pulled out. They just become a large disembodied mass or a large disembodied number. So this year, I'll make sure to put each drop in its own place so that I can really see how many drops is 16. It's one plus one plus one, plus one. Because if we're going to remove some of our joy to appreciate the pain that some people go through during a plague, then we need to make sure we can actually understand what that looks like. If we're gonna rebuild our world, if we're gonna support each other through this madness, then we're gonna to need to confront just how many people we're talking about one at a time. So on page 58 and 59 in the Feast of Freedom Haggadah, we can do the ten plagues. Dam, Svardeya, Kinim, Arov, Dever, Shechin, Barad, Arbe, Choshech, Makat Bechorot, and Rabbi Yehuda's abbreviation, Ditzach. Adash Be'achav, plus the three from the prophet Joel. And this is what my napkin looks like. Happy Passover, Chag Sameach.